I got uh, I got Yogi Sheridan here, and uh, only one in tonight, right? Yep, just one. Just one. Uh, do, do you like it better when you can just come by yourself and with one? Yeah, that's. How many horses do you have? Me. I, I got six right now. Six right now. Uh, where are you stable at? Uh, Harry Landis Farm over in uh, Monroe. Okay. Uh, New Jersey, right? Yeah, Jersey. We, we have a Monroe in New York. I don't, yeah, know if, I don't know if our Monroe's better. Uh, Monroe's one of those towns that just it seems like it's in every state, right? Like Washington or, or Middletown. <laughs> I'm going to bet that our New York Monroe is better than, than Jersey Monroe. Absolutely. It's boring there. It's, it's, it's boring there? Uh, so six horses. Uh, have you always had about that? I mean, you, you, you've managed to run a small stable for a lot of years and uh, done pretty well, right? Yes. You know what? God willing, I wake up every day and able to uh, get there and work hard. And, is it just uh, you? It's good. Well, me and my brothers. Okay. Try to put my brothers, keep my brothers doing something. You okay. Know? But other than that, it's just small, stable, and uh, you know, can pay attention to all of them, and you do, know. Do you prefer it that way? Like, what? What's the most it, horse you've ha had? I've had up to fifteen, and I was doing pretty good. But you know what? I just think it was a lot more extra work. My, yeah, mind thinking. You know? Do you, do you <laughs> like? Uh, is your favorite part about working with the horses that you can work with them individually? Um, yes, because you can spend more time and uh, you can uh, uh, pinpoint the problems that you really have on them and, you know, you can just, they can have their own individual care. Sure. It's amazing when you see an operation like Burke and he's just, it, I mean, they do what they do, but uh, it's, it's, it's real tough when you, when you, and listen, not that Ron doesn't love the horses, but I think uh, sometimes when you get the smaller operations, it's, it's, you really got to love the horses, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, I know them guys carry a, a big barn. Sometimes I don't see how they can do it. I have that many horses and uh, be able to know, you know, what goes on at all times and how every horse trains at, you know, in the mornings. And, and it's just tough. What's your favorite type of horse? Older pacers, young trotters, um, fillies. I, I don't like fillies. I don't I don't get women. So I, I don't like fillies. <laughs> no, me. I like. I like the older pacers because okay. uh, they teach me a little bit, and I really, you know, the things that I don't know, they do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, this one you got in tonight. What's the name of this one? Uh, this one is uh, Wick N, a New Zealand horse. Did you New did, did you import him from New Zealand, or you just bought him here? No, imported him from, from New Zealand. You yep. did? Yeah. No, I did. Oh no, no, <laughs> I mean, I mean, oh, you you bought him after it was imported. Yes. Okay. No, yep. Uh, well, what's uh. Was he a? Because uh, he's a lot of the New Zealand horse. They're a little nutty. He looks like he's dancing around a little bit. He's a little nutty. Uh, do, do you like the the ones that are a little bit crazier? You know what? Honestly, no. He's, no. <laughs> he's he, he's really calmed down now. Uh, but he's uh, been really really bad acting, and and all and all of a sudden, you know, after three or four starts of him getting used to to uh, racing in the states, you know, he's been better. Okay. So. How long have you had him? I had him about uh. Maybe three months, maybe. Okay. Three or four months, yeah. Favorite thing about him? Well, real quick, your favorite horse you've ever had? Oh, Alistair Hanover. Okay. What was so special about him? Just a tough old horse that loved to do his job. How long did you have him for? I had him for about a year. I had him for about a year. Yeah, he was Probably a lot of good race, a lot of consistency, absolutely. right? My first that's horse nice I ever one. owned, yeah. When, when, when you get one like that that's just consistent, you know when you're going to show up to the racetrack and he's going to do his job? Absolutely. That, that he did. <laughs> that he did. Uh, that he did. All right, one last question before I, I got to let you get to work. Uh, is it because you race at Chester a lot? You race, a, you know, a lot of the East Coast tracks. I mean, East Coast is better than, than like the guys out in Ohio, right? I mean, that's real easy to say. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to say that. You know what? You know, you're, you're too, you're too it's nice. Tough. All right, it's all right. Tough. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you like prefer a half mile track or five eighths, or do you go with the horse versus the track? Me, I go wherever the horse really participates and performs well at okay. you know some horses that better on a half just because they've gated good and they sure. can leave the gate and they can get themselves in position and other horses you got that are big long gangly and they need they a big to... track that can you know they can stretch out and uh so it, it, it really doesn't matter to me as long as the horse can uh get around and adapt to the track that they're at sure so uh listen uh you get the one hole tonight uh advice just win the race yeah, my Simple, right? <laughs> Simple, right? You, you got George Brennan. Yeah, He's pretty George good. Brennan. He's pretty good. Do hey, your thing. Do your thing. Just, just get me to the winner's just circle. Just get me to the winner's circle. No rules, no instructions. Just get <laughs> just, there. Just win, baby, right? Yeah, that's it. That's All right. Thank you, Yogi. Thanks a lot.